Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you advantages of microwave. In my last video, I have explained different bands of microwave and applications of microwave. In that video, I have explained you microwave ranges from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz of frequencies. And with this frequency range, there are many advantages. Let me discuss all those advantages one by one. See, first basic advantage is based on bandwidth. Microwave is having large bandwidth as we have broad frequency range with microwave that is ranging from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. That's why microwave is having higher data rate of communication. So microwave frequency range that is happening from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So it is having a broad range of frequencies because of which with the use of microwave, we can communicate with higher data rate. See, second advantage is based on directive properties of microwave. Microwaves are highly directive and because of which microwaves are used with line of sight communication like satellite communication. See, microwave frequency range that is there from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and that is having highly directive property and those electromagnetic waves which are there with microwave that is traveling in a straight line that's why we communicate as per line of sight communication with the use of microwave as it is having highly directive property if you talk about next advantage then that is based on circuit size see with microwave circuit size is very small the reason is size of the circuit that is depending on wavelength Microwave is having frequency that is 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz because of which you will be having shorter wavelength with microwave that is resulting into smaller size. The reason is size of the circuit that is depending on wavelength. And one should know wavelength is C divided by F where C is velocity of light and F is frequency. Here frequency is there in terms of gigahertz. So, but obviously wavelength will be very short. That's why circuit size is very small. If you talk about next advantage, then that is based on distance of communication. Microwave is used for long distance communication and it can penetrate through fog, rain and clouds. So, microwave is having highly directive property and it can also penetrate through fog, rain and clouds. So, irrespective of weather condition with the use of microwave one can communicate right and with microwave we have long distance communication applications like we communicate with satellite if you talk about next advantage then that is based on antenna size see microwave is having efficient size of antenna the reason is size of the antenna is also depending on wavelength here with microwave we have shorter wavelength that's why size of the antenna that will be also less with microwaves, right? Now I'll be discussing about next advantage that is based on fading. See fading means as and when we transmit signal from transmitter to receiver, at that time with receiver, we will be receiving signals from multiple path. Because of we receive signals from multiple path, there will be phase issue. The reason is path length is different with multiple path. With microwave, we have very less fading. Fading means multiple path reflection is less with microwave. Scattering of signals from the walls, from the other objects is less with microwave. That's why microwave is having very less issues of multipath fading. Right. Now I'll be discussing about next advantage that is based on beam width of microwave. See, beam width is very narrow with microwave. Beam width means when we transmit signal using antenna, at that time that antenna will be having radiation pattern where major lobe width is beam width and with microwave beam width is very less. If you observe the basic equation then you will be observing with reflector antenna beam width is 70 into lambda divided by d and this calculation is there in terms of degree. With microwave, lambda is less, wavelength is short. That's why beam width will be also narrow over here. 
right so as and when we transmit signal using microwave it is having narrow beam width and as it is having narrow beam width as per this equation of reflector antennas beam width one can transmit microwave signals to long distance that's why you'll be observing with many satellite applications we are using microwave right Hello, Hitesh, sir. Can I ask you one question? Yes, Jingle. Definitely you can ask questions. Can you please explain antenna size and beam width by one practical example? Let me reply to this query by taking one practical scenario. To explain this query of Jingle, what I'll do is I'll take one practical scenario. Let me consider two different frequencies. Here, I'll consider two different frequencies. Let us consider first frequency F1 that is of 300 megahertz and second frequency that is there in microwave let us consider that is of 30 gigahertz. Now with these two frequencies if you calculate lambda then wavelength is velocity of light divided by frequency. Velocity of light in free space is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and here frequency is 300 mega means 10 to the power 6. If you calculate this then that is of 1 meter only. If you calculate wave wavelength associated with this 30 gigahertz that is C divided by F2. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and here 30 giga means 30 into 10 to the power 9. If you solve this you will be getting 0 0.01 meter. So one thing is very clear see with microwave we have very short wavelength and here with this 300 megahertz frequency wavelength is 1 meter. So based on this you can say circuit size with microwave that is depending on wavelength. So here wavelength is short with microwave that's why circuit size is small as well as if you talk about size of antenna. So that is also depending on wavelength. So antenna size is also small. Now if you talk about beam width then beam width for reflector antenna is 70 lambda divided by 2. So if you calculate beam width over here, let us say that is B1. So that is 70 into lambda divided by D. Here lambda 1 that I will be considering. So if I say this is what of 1 meter with this lambda 1 and let us assume D is 1. So you can say 70 degree that is a beam width with 300 megahertz but beam width with this 30 gigahertz that will be 70 into lambda 2 divided by d where if you consider d is 1 meter then 70 into 0 0.01 divided by 1 so that is somewhere around 0 0.7 degree right so here you can observe this beam width that is very narrow that's why this microwave that one can use it for long distance communication right as beam width is very narrow i hope you got the point jinkle so if you have any query like jinkle is having then definitely you can post it over here right in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video